this week we're in and around Edinburgh, a city that loves its local lingo. A hold your wished is, is the expression if you're wanting somebody to, to shut up. Hold your wished. Well, that's charming. Hold your wished wouldn't go down well with our first host, Christian radio DJ and gospel singer, Iloho. Good morning! How are you this beautiful, beautiful morning? I'm fine, thank you! So when I walk into a room, people are like, wow, who's this? She's gorgeous, she's pretty, she's tall. She's so modest. I think so, I think so, yeah. <laughs> oh, carpeted kitchen, you don't see many of them. Tonight, I'm going to be bringing a slice of Nigeria at my dinner party. It's going to be a happy day. Oh, happy day! And she's kicking off her slice of Nigeria night with the starter, Nigerian chicken pepper soup. The traditional Nigerian pepper soup, which I'm making tonight, is uh, the soup that is given to women who have just given birth. It's not my favourite type of cuisine. Uh... Meet her second host, taxi driver Jamie. Ever had anyone famous in your cab? Yeah, I've had Derma or Lady in the car. Anyone else? Not really, but you sound familiar. Oh, well, yes, I am on telly, you know. That's right, it's Harry Hill, isn't it? All right, leave it. Just pull over. Pull over, Jamie. Thank you. So I admit I'm not the most intelligent person you will ever meet. So I know quite a lot of words, but they tend to be only three or four letters long. Don't do yourself down, fella. Uh, I think I'm the funniest person I know. I make other people laugh, and I also make myself laugh. So. <laughs> well, you've tickled yourself there, haven't you? My ideal guest would be someone who's funny, but also someone who's clearly quite intelligent as well. Well, you can't have everything. Looking for some highbrow laughter this week is business owner and girl about town, Maz. Someone once described me as having just enough common sense to cause trouble, which is pretty accurate, because there's not a lot of common sense going on, but I know how to have a good time. <laughs> Back in the kitchen, Eloho's sorting her soup. She blitzes onions and scotch bonnets with water, pours over chicken, and adds dried crayfish, red pepper, and peri peri for extra spice. You happy with that? <laughs> yeah, it's gonna be spice and flavoury. Uh, what do you say now? It's gonna be tasty, tasty, tasty. Well, we got there in the end. Lovely. Third up is cabin crew trainer Julie. Oh, off somewhere cold, are we? Yeah, maybe not. Well, I give up now. When I was at high school, I was actually the shot put champion. Top talent. Any more? I can converse in duck language as well. Go on, then. Let's hear a bit of it. Oh, thank you, thank you, boy. Oh, yes, you. Thank you, baby. Baba. <laughs> that was a boy, boy, boy. I love you. Will you be my mummy? I know that's a bit weird, but... <laughs> it's a lot weird is what it is. Completing the quintet is IT sales manager and part-time stand-up comedian, Ryan. Good evening, Edinburgh! Don't like being the centre of attention. The centre of attention just likes being me. Don't ask me for an autograph when I'm at the supermarket. I'm just sitting to buy a pound of sugar or something. You are coming back for the second half, aren't you? No, nope, he's gone. I might not be the best chef in the world, but what you will get from me is star quality. Look at those jazz hands. <laughs> Yay! Prep done, she sprints off to get ready. There's nothing on here that I can openly say I don't like that. So, serve it up, buttercup. Wowzers, what a onesie! Hello, who's ready? Oh, happy day! Third in, it's cabin crew trainer, come bird impersonator Julie. Hello! Hello. Oof, my ears! <laughs> Would you like something to drink? I would love one, okay. please. I hope you enjoy this. <laughs> oh, thank you so much. Try it. Go <laughs> on, try it, try it, try it. Mm, it's actually quite zingy. <laughs> oh, my gosh, that wasn't for me at all. Well, who would you like to see through the door next? Um, so that it's even, probably another guy. <laughs> You've already got the young, handsome guy. Yes, so. of course. <laughs> so, You've got a uh, black hair, so... So a blonde 50-year-old yeah, guy. Yeah, yeah, blonde Right, so we're wasting guy. on a blonde 50-year-old guy. <laughs> Will a 30-year-old redhead do you? Last up, it's shy and retiring Ryan. Hello! Hi, that was almost you? right! What? No, you weren't. Just try it. 
That drink that we were first served was gelatinous muck. Don't hold back. In <laughs> Nigeria, we do something <laughs> funny because cheers is like cheers. Oh, so okay. we like, tables, tables, oh, tables. tables. I'm stirring myself. Uh, it's looking tasty. I smell a hit. So here's my starter ready. I hope they like it. Fingers crossed. Here we go. And here it is, Nigerian chicken pepper soup. Thank you. This is the traditional Nigerian pepper soup. So, bon appetit. Has it got like a bit of a fish stock in it? Yeah, so? it's got um, crayfish in it. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I was going to ask, the stock mm -hmm. is yeah. really good. Yeah, it's but got I, I knew it had a... Mm. It wasn't just chicken. To look at it, it wasn't the most appetising. The three bits of chicken looked like the Cayman Islands floating in the water. Um, but it, it actually tasted really nice. Right. Well, time to find out a bit more about tonight's host, I think. I'm a radio presenter. Oh, uh, wow! Yeah. <laughs> I run my own online Christian radio station, uh, but I have this show, it's called Arise with Eloho. I do mm -hmm. that every morning, 6.30 a.m. to 7.30 a.m. And basically, I just want to communicate love, the love of God, I just want to share oh. joyfulness, I want to inspire people. What an amazing person. So much positivity and energy and happiness, like, so rare to find nowadays. Yes, yeah, really incredible. She clearly has her connection to the big G-O-D. It's not my bag, but it makes her happy. And actually, seeing her happy is infectious. I enjoyed it. Uh, I thought the spice was just right. I thought the chicken was just a bit too dry. Ah, uh, OK. Jimmy said the chicken was a bit dry, but he enjoyed it, you know. And uh, it was a sincere compliment. He wasn't trying to put me down or anything. Ooh, you took that well. So what would you have done differently with the chicken? Maybe you didn't. Uh... I don't know, to be honest. <laughs> it was just a bit too dry. Okay. And, you know, that's, right. um, okay. That was just my opinion. So. All right, thank you. The chicken was dry. I didn't want to say it, but I think it had to be said.